good Tuesday morning, the week before Thanksgiving, so we know there's a lot of hustle and bustle in town getting ready for the holidays. We hope you are shopping local for the holidays um, this year. We have so much to be thankful for in our community. We are grateful for our community members, for our membership, and for our board of directors. It has been a tough year on all of us. We've had to uh, make changes to many of the events and programs that we do, but through it all, you have remained um, diligent and vigilant, and we thank you for that. Uh, we are very blessed and grateful that this year is almost over, and we'll be turning the page to see what 2021 brings. During this time, we want to encourage you now more than ever, it's so important to shop local. Um, I talked about this yesterday in a post um, that we love our big box retailers. Please do not get us wrong. Uh, we know that they provide the bulk of our sales tax dollars in town, that they are our largest employers, but we also know that their doors were not closed during the pandemic. Many of our small businesses were forced to close their doors at some point in time during the pandemic, and they are still trying to recover from um, what was happening in March, April, and May. This holiday season now more than ever, I know that it's easy to hit that prime button online and shop from the comfort of your homes, but that is not gonna help our small businesses here in town during this time. And small businesses can mean services, it can mean restaurants, retailers, um, we have so many options here in town. So when you're making your shopping list for the holidays, please shop local. Um, we want to see these doors in 2021 open when it's time for you to call on these businesses for sponsorships, for um, sponsoring your kids' baseball teams and soccer teams, for donations for nonprofits. If these doors are not open, they're not going to be able to give to our community. So please give back during this time by shopping local any chance you can. Speaking of Shop Local, we met last week with our five banks that are participating this year. Uh, Mineola Community Bank, Austin Bank, Texas Bank and Trust, Southside Bank, and Shelby Savings, and came up with a grand plan for giving those dollars away this year. A few contest rules to go over. Remember, you must be 18 to fill out the entry form. It must be $10 or over and purchase in the 75771, um, and particularly it must have sales tax. If you're shopping online or you're getting an e-receipt, you must print those off and take them to the participating banks in order to receive the entry form. So you can't just walk in and show them your phone. Um, you must print those receipts off and take a paper copy in for them to stamp. At the December 3rd luncheon, we'll be giving away $1,500 in cash prizes. That's five um, winners will receive $300. December 10th, we'll do exactly the same thing. And then on December 17th, our last drawing, we will give away the five $300 um, gift card or cash. And then we'll put all the names from all three contests back in and draw one $500 grand prize drawing winner. So. The more you shop local, the more entries you have. Now, one other thing we saw last year where people were going to Walmart, checking out multiple times and bringing multiple receipts that are within an hour transaction time. That cannot happen this year. So if you were one of those people last year, please don't do that to us this year. It must be one transaction within the hour period, um, not multiple transactions minutes apart. Um, we are excited about our five participating banks. They do this in, in conjunction with us. This is our third year. And it last year brought in $250,000 in um, receipts. So that's $250,000 staying local in this community during the holidays. Also during the holidays, we have taken in our Lindell Christmas Helpers once again this year. Um, us, as well as Central Baptist Church, are the only two locations that you can pick these sacks up this year. If you're not familiar with this program, it is our Lindell Angel Tree. Um, they work, this organization works exclusively with the school district to ensure that those that are on the free and reduced lunch period program do have Christmas. Um, it's so sad to think that a little child, especially, you know, this one's eight, that um, they may not have anything under the tree if it weren't for this program. 
In addition to giving the hygiene products, the shoes and socks and toys, um, this organization also gives them food for the two weeks that they're out of school and a Christmas dinner. So you may not want to adopt a sack. Um, they do have a program where they're happy to take in um, funds as well to buy the necessary things for um, the Christmas dinner. So consider that as well. Just a heartwarming program. And to think that last year, 250 of our LISD students met um, the criteria for this program and would have not had Christmas without the help of generous people in the community. Starting this week, we are on our email talking about all the open houses in town to encourage you again to shop local this holiday season. Below those activities and events is a list of all of our members in town and the services they provide. So consider that, look at that list when you're thinking about where to do services, where to shop, where to promote this holiday season and always. We're over 600 members and growing and we thank you for that. Last two opportunities to meet with us, the Chamber um, during the holiday season is the December 3rd lunch and the December 8th breakfast. And once again, we want to thank and recognize our new Chairman and President Circle for stepping up and being in the Elite Partnership once again this year. As always, we want to be your partner in business, so please let us know how we can help.